up everybody welcome back to the channel it's your girl colors and i'm back with another video in today's video i just kind of wanted to switch things up a little bit and talk about some things that was on my mind so i was sitting at work one day and thinking to myself hmm what would i do different from the first time around and what I planned to do differently the second time around. So uh, I came up with 17 things. I thought I should tell you what those things are and hopefully uh, by telling you these things, it could possibly help you or give you a different mindset or outlook on preparing for your baby. I really wanted this video to help people if they are either prepare for the first child or second child or multiple children or whatever it is. I just really wanted this video to be well-rounded and help everyone. So hopefully it will do that. So if you're interested hearing on what I plan to do differently the second time around, just keep on watching. Now in no particular order, the first thing that I would possibly do different and especially the first time would do differently is have my baby shower a lot sooner. I know a lot of people like to wait when they're at their biggest when it comes to having a baby shower and that is cool and everything like that. I think it's really mainly about the pictures more so but realistically when it comes to preparation I think it's a good idea to have the baby shower between six and seven months of pregnancy and the reason why is um, a lot of times you don't know what you want or need in a sense and I think when you have it that early you have time to do more research prepare and know what you're already going to have because you're not buying anything because you're waiting on the baby shower but if you're waiting until eight nine months of pregnancy like me when I had baby girl Nala I think I had her baby shower about three to four weeks before she was born and just unpacking all the stuff was exhausting. I still found myself going to the store even after she was born, whether it was a finance issue or just little knickknacks I never thought about until she came type thing. If I would have probably done the baby shower a little bit earlier, I might have realized some of those things that I have missed. Yeah. That is the first thing. The second thing that I am planning on doing differently and I already am kind of doing it but I just really want to mention this one because I don't think people necessarily realize this until they already kind of have a kid is that when it comes to buying baby clothes um, you kind of have to use your own sense of judgment if that makes sense that's really hard if you never had a kid but i have realized that a lot of baby clothes sizes are inaccurate i just only paid attention to the sizes on the tag and not necessarily what the sizes probably looked like there was a lot of clothes that i missed out on because they were smaller than what the size says so for instance if I had a bunch of six to nine month clothes, I kind of threw it in the back of the closet for organization for purposes. So maybe a way or a tip that you can combat that is when you're going through your baby organization stage of clothes and you're washing clothes and all that stuff, um, look at like the common sizes. So in a sense, if there are zero to three months, kind of compare all the th zero to three months together to get a range of if this really looks like a zero to three months and maybe you'll get the most use out of those clothes. I hope that makes sense, but you can't really pay too much attention to the sizes that manufacture the print on these clothes. Yeah. The next thing that I plan to do differently, and it's almost because I almost have to do it, is baby wear. So I only really baby wore with Nala like twice. I just didn't really feel a need. I didn't really do anything. Like I wasn't out in the stores a lot. I wasn't going a lot of places. And if I was, not down to she was just in a car seat. But this time around, clearly I'm having two under two and to kind of get out i'm going to have to like baby wear or get very comfortable in baby wear so i do plan on getting uh maybe about two at least two different sizes 
of baby wear and not necessarily for the new baby i do want to make sure i have a carrier for the new baby but probably more so for nala either way i'm gonna have to baby wear probably at least one of them especially when it comes to shopping so that is something that's going to be different for sure uh the next thing that i do definitely plan on doing differently this time around is taking baby out sooner so um a lot of people made me feel like and i unintentionally felt the same way too but i don't know if it's because of people's opinions or my own opinions or just what everyone was just doing but i just felt like i wasn't supposed to bring her out as far as outside doing stuff and in the world at least until she was like a couple months old but i think in some ways that may have stunt some processes i think it'll be good uh to definitely get this baby out sooner i'm gonna kind of have to because i'm going to be staying at home and i'm going to have a one-year-old at this point and a newborn and by this time i want to definitely start taking nala out taking her to the parks taking her to do at the things and i can't be cooped up in the house for three or four months just because i have a newborn i'm gonna have to do something about that combat that wipe sanitizer and stuff like that but um, I don't really see me being so gone ho about people not seeing the new baby. We'll see how it goes. Being a stay at home mom at the point, I don't see how this house is probably gonna get really small really quickly. So yeah. The next thing that I plan on doing, I can't really say me personally differently. Well, can I? Well, I guess I can say, but this is more so of something I wanted to point out. And that is, it is okay to buy a good amount of your items, especially your big items, second hand. I did get a good amount of Nala stain second hands. I bought uh, like Once Upon a Child, like consignment shop. We got our pack and play second hand. There's been a good amount of things we did get to second hand, but there was a good amount of things we got exactly brand new. And I just more so want to point out like, hey, if you need a Mamaru, we got our Mamaru. Um, second hand and a lot of times there's a bunch of people who either never use stuff I know you watch other YouTube videos plenty of times they're like hey I bought this thing and my child hated it and they never used it and that's kind of the things that I look for when people are selling so you can go to like consignment shops or go to TJ Maxx sometimes in uh, more suburb areas I noticed that TJ Maxx have more higher end items and then just go on facebook marketplace and dial in your area and see who's selling something a lot of times you'll be surprised a uh, brand new like i seen a snoo the other day and if you don't know what a snoo is a snoo is um that really expensive like bassinet that you strap your infant in and it kind of wiggles them to sleep and that retails for easily fifteen hundred dollars and i've seen it on facebook marketplace for seven hundred dollars with accessories so those type of things like definitely plan on buying second hand the next thing that i definitely plan on doing laying her on her stomach a lot earlier and in the beginning when it came to nala like i got startled so much when it came to putting her on her stomach and tummy time and she hated tummy time i never really forced her to be on her stomach at all and i never really let, allowed her to even sleep on me because i was so afraid of putting too much weight on her stomach but definitely with this baby even if i gotta get that little gadget that you put baby kind of inclined on their stomach thing and you strap them in i'll get that but i don't think i ever really started having nala on her stomach until she was around four months or so which is really late definitely will not be having her sleep on her stomach at all in the beginning but definitely will practice a lot more in having her on her stomach for like naps and things like that on the other side of that i will be also trying to sit the baby up a lot sooner it's the same situation as the laying on the stomach thing i got a lot of scares a lot of no's a lot of you know just people in my ear which 
petrified me on having her sit up too early and I didn't want any problems. So when I thought she was ready is when I started putting on her in stomach, but I probably definitely will be practicing a lot sooner. The one thing I do plan on doing differently this time around, and it's so funny because I actually had this in my newborn, I think regrets video or you, things you actually need video. Uh, I talked about a lot how you don't need baby toys. And in hindsight, I kind of take that back and I think you definitely do should see if your baby is into baby toys as early as possible because I feel like now knowing what I know now, toys aid in development and can help them progress and in interests and hand-eye coordination and all that type of stuff that you don't even realize or think about. I still agree that it's not as much of a Oh my God, let me have baby toys before my baby's here. No, absolutely not. But slowly start building a collection of toys earlier than you may expect. The next thing I'm very hopeful for doing, not really certain that will happen, and that is having a maternity shoot. I'm being very, I'm, I'm reaching <laughs> for the stars and mostly it has to do with time and scheduling and knowing what I can and cannot do but I really do want to have a maternity shoot this time around. I did not have one with Nala but even if I don't have a professional one I'm just going to have to make David uh, be very creative, use a tripod or something and make it happen, paint my body or something like that. But I definitely want to do something outside of doing a belly cast, which I still plan on doing this time around. I am reaching for the stars on that one, but if not, I need to figure out some ways to be very creative to get those photos out. The next thing that I am definitely, definitely, definitely doing differently this time, and that's not breastfeeding. I think at this point, many people know how I feel about breastfeeding but I don't want them to misunderstand that I think breastfeeding is an absolutely wonderful and beautiful thing and I think anyone who can breastfeed especially for a long time and a long time is anything after six months six months is already a long time um, is a superhero it takes a lot of work a lot of commitment it takes a lot of energy to invest into breastfeeding and I know that I, I'm not going to have it with 202. I don't want to put a lot of stipulations. And I'm very much a perfectionist when I commit to something. I don't like to turn away from it. But I am learning and David is teaching me. Just listen to myself. Listen to my body. And if stuff don't go exactly how I want it to or plan it, it's okay. Life will still be there. People will still be there if it's not exactly how you want it to be. So that being said, I know that I'm not going to have the energy to breastfeed. I have come to realize when breastfeeding with Nala that I don't enjoy breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is not for everyone. And... I am well prepared to formula feed, so that should be a change of pace and almost kind of interesting to see how that works out. Uh, this time around, I definitely do not plan on buying the handful of play mats like I did before. And what I mean by play mats is like those little activity play mats. I don't think it's necessary as much. Uh, this time around, I probably would do more so of foam mats or those really plush rugs and just put toys in front of her. I have a couple of them, but I find myself taking the toys off of them and just having her play with it. And I see that being more worth it. I am not talking about the ones where they can like kind of sit up and then they can touch the ones that's on the string. I'm not referring to those, just the ones that's purely on the floor type thing. So yeah. The next thing I plan on doing different, I would have done differently. I have to do differently this time is buy a double stroller. 
So in hindsight, um, I didn't buy my stroller in the first place. It was just automatically gifted to me. But if I had a choice, I would definitely advise a single to double stroller because you can plan on not having kids and end up having kids and have to invest into a new stroller. So I am planning on getting the Upper Baby Vista and we actually just bought secondhand a Juvie's X2 double stroller. So we do plan on having two double strollers and the reason for that is we are planning on taking baby girl for her first birthday to Disney World. We don't want to take our upper baby the one we plan on getting to the theme parks so we bought essentially a theme park stroller if that makes sense the next thing that i plan on doing differently this time around when it comes to my baby registry is not put clothes books shoes stuff like that on my baby registry those things i feel are very subjective you are going to get the most out of that if you buy buy it yourself and i feel like when people look at baby registries sometimes and it's understandable they try to look at some of the cheaper things and i'm not saying don't put it on that don't put it on the registry because they're cheap but what i'm saying is if people are going to really help you when it comes to preparing for your kid put things on there that matters even if it's like medicine those are the most annoying things to buy like medicine the nose frida sleepers you can put sleepers on there uh washcloths but actual like cutesy outfit shoes and stuff like that i think you should you can just buy those type things yourself and have people really help you at where it it, it matters i don't plan i don't know if i mentioned that but toys is another thing i wouldn't plan on putting on there because those things I'd rather invest in. Put like a play yard, pack and play, those things where if someone buys it for you, it will feel very good. <laughs> the next thing I do definitely plan on doing differently, and this kind of coincides with the whole registry idea, and that is getting things as I see them. Now, there was many times that I'd gone into a store, seen something I probably haven't ever seen it for that price or seen something I really like and just be like, oh, I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on the registry. It just depends on what the items are. If they're like very common items, I would then concern that to the registry. But there was a lot of things that I seen that I liked that was really jolting to me at the moment. And I was like, no, I don't want to get it because I'm waiting on my baby shower. So this time around, if I see something I want, I'm going to get it. But in hindsight, going back to what I said before, if you have your things early in your baby shower early, then it won't be such an issue to get some of the other things that you didn't get for your baby shower. So you see how that kind of like goes back into itself. The next thing is more so of a tip, but I am going to be doing this differently is getting different types of blankets and not being so pressed on having so many receiving blankets. So what I mean is we have only basically two main blankets that we use for baby girl. And there's one really thick one that's kind of like for really cold places and there's one that's kind of like an everyday kind of blanket but really soft and plush to so maybe have more like four or five blankets versus two and have four or five different ones so have a really lightweight one have um maybe like two everyday ones and maybe like two warm ones with two different types of materials i also recently which i need to actually get there's actually a blanket that attaches that you can wrap around and strap to a stroller that never like falls so i'm definitely going to invest in that so i'm glad i said this so i can actually remember to buy it because it was on sale and the last thing i definitely plan on doing differently which is was kind of more so of an actual the thought and that is stocking up on baby wipes so i did very well in stocking up for baby diapers which i'm not doing that well this time <laughs> so this time i do definitely love the idea how we had a good amount of time to wait because we still haven't gone out to buy diapers in now it's eight months <laughs> we exchanged diapers but we haven't bought any so i definitely want it to be the same case and right now we ran out of the whites and we're gone back and forth to buy whites and that is 
the most annoying thing to buy. So I definitely plan on stocking up as much as possible. Now that I'm definitely gonna have two babies in diapers, I need to get my stuff together. <laughs> so yeah, I think that is gonna be all for this video. I just really wanted to bring a different dynamic. I'm probably not really saying a bunch of stuff that is like world right now or you never heard before, but I just kind of wanted to give you different eyes in viewing and preparing for a baby in a sense. Yeah, I think that's gonna be all for this video. Um, if you want to see a video on the other side of this and wondering what i plan on doing exactly the same please comment down below especially liking this video and sharing and turning on your post notifications for sure and yeah i guess i can go ahead and get out of here now so i'm just jacked at this point but i definitely love you guys and i will see you guys in the next one